Assalamu alaikum. Okay, this video boiled my blood. Check it out. Anyone with a soul will hate this video. Why? Because it shows someone being humiliated and that just makes you cringe. Whether it's a man, woman, it doesn't matter. We hate humiliation or you should at least. The way she sits down and watches him Zama clean the house, that is humiliating. And also the way she waves at him, that is disgusting, honestly. And even as a joke, how can a wife do that to her husband and then put that out there for the whole world to see? I, I don't see how you can do that. It's really disgusting to see. And honestly, if you're a man watching this and you're in any kind of a situation where you might do a video like this, stop. Do not do this. Now, this brother doing it in the video, maybe he thinks it's just a light matter, you know, it's just a bit of fun, a bit of a joke. Don't take it too seriously. It doesn't really matter, but it does. Jokes are often the way that social norms and culture is defined and, and ideas start getting rolling by people first joking about it until it becomes more and more normal. It's an easy way to put an idea into society by saying, no, no, it was just a joke until it's not a joke. And so that's how you break norms down and create new norms. The norm for us Muslims should be that a man is respected in his household. He's the leader after all. The leader has to be treated in a certain way. Otherwise, how is he a leader? Not someone to be humiliated on camera for all the giggling girls on TikTok to see. Or maybe this brother does have a more sinister intention. And he's making this video because he thinks, yes, I agree, we need to push this idea out there more and more. To push a certain idea of gender roles, or even worse, to use hadith to gaslight any men who feel uncomfortable with this video. By the way, gaslighting is when you make someone question their sanity or their morals by making them feel bad about a belief that they hold. So basically what it's trying to say is, oh, you don't want to be humiliated on TikTok like me? Well, then you're not truly following this hadith. And that's how you try to link feminism with Islam to break down the family unit. So let me be absolutely clear here. A man should be the object of respect and authority in the household. A man should work hard to provide for his family. And if a man chooses from his own desire, his own wish for rewards and to help his wife to tidy up the house voluntarily, then that's good and he can expect reward from Allah for that. But if the setup in your household is that you go out and work hard, your wife is at home and works hard, and then when you come home, you don't really help in the house or tidy in the house, then that's fine too and you shouldn't feel bad about that. Helping out in the house is a voluntary thing. Sometimes it's a necessary thing. Imagine your wife is just going to give birth or she just gave birth or she's very ill or whatever. Of course, it's a natural human thing that you're going to get that done. You might hire someone to do it or you might do it yourself, whatever. That's natural. That's logical. But to make people feel like I have to be humiliated. I have to help my wife in the house and tidy up the house and wear a damn apron. That is just messed up. So watch out for videos like this that might make you feel a certain way. And once you've seen this video, then you might be interested in some of these videos that talk about Islam and marriage or Islamic masculinity. Check it out. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.